uh, greetings, guys. We are starting with the topic, Sum to Infinity. Now, I'm not going to go into much uh, detail uh, when it comes to issues of Sum to Infinity. But what we realize is that as uh, series, especially um, uh, geometric series, as they approach infinity, we have two cases. So when they approach infinity, we have two cases. That geometric series can either be divergent or it can be convergent. When is it divergent? It is divergent when R is less than negative 1 or R is greater than 1. Okay? And in this particular scenario, when we say it, when we say it is divergent, um, what we will realize is that the sum to infinity does not exist okay and then here um when when is it convergent it is convergent when the constant ratio is between negative one and one but it is not equals to it is not equals to negative one and uh, one okay if our constant ratio is between negative one and one we say that the sum to infinity exists and the way to understand this really is that when we are saying that something is convergent we are simply saying that that something is approaching a particular number we can uh, consider this one as an example 1 over 2 plus uh, 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. If you keep on typing that on your calculator, you'll begin to realize that this is actually approaching 0. It's getting closer and closer to 0. All right? But if you look at this series, when we talk about divergent, we are saying it does not approach any specific number okay an example of this would be two uh, and let me try to find something that you can relate with two and let's say uh, four and let's say eight so it doesn't actually approach a specific number so convergent we say it's it's convergent what do we mean by that we mean that it is approaching a particular number i showed you an example that this series is actually approaching zero okay you can test it out by typing as many uh values as you can and you'll see that it is approaching zero as you increase with the numbers as you go towards infinity we are approaching zero and we are saying that an, um, something is convergent, in other words, it approaches a particular number only and only if the constant ratio lies between negative 1 and 1. And then we say something is divergent only if r is less than negative 1 and, of course, r is greater than 1. But note again, r cannot be equals to 1 to negative 1 and r cannot be equals to, uh, to, to 1. And the reason r cannot be equals to 1 is that, guys, when r equals to 1, let's say you have sn equals to r, rn minus 1, r minus 1. If r is equals to 1, this will be divided by 0. And if it is divided by 0, guys, that series cannot exist because it becomes what? Undefined. All right. So when you deal with geometric series, you can never have a scenario or you can never have a case where R is equals to one. I want us to look at this uh, question and uh, you can pause the video, try it on your own and see if uh, you can be able to do it on your own. So before you... Um, uh, you, you, you watch me do it, I would prefer that you try to do it on your own. All right. Now, let us look at what we have here. It says calculate the sum, all right? Calculate the sum to infinity. And uh, we have to highlight a formula that you use. The formula for sum to infinity is uh, S infinity equals to A 
1 minus r but this is only on the condition that r must be between negative 1 and 1 so this is the formula guys that we use to um to calculate the sum to infinity okay so now we know which formula that we are going to use to calculate the sum to infinity s equals to a 1 minus r okay calculate the sum to infinity of the geometric uh, uh, series this equation is saying we need the first term and of course we also need to know what is the constant ratio so let us get into it okay now this is a equals to one over two the most critical uh, point or, or, or value you must find is actually r and the reason we must find r is because we want first to ascertain that is it convergent because the sum of infinity infinity exists only and only if uh, a series is convergent okay so if r is between negative one and one then the series is convergent so let us try to find r they already told us it's geometric so we're gonna say t2 divided by t1 is actually um uh one over four divided by one over two which is just one over four multiplied by two over one and that is two over four which is one over two now check the constant ratio which is 1 over 2 here's our constant ratio and i want you to tell me is it between negative 1 and um and uh, and 1 yes it is between those numbers therefore therefore we will write that okay we will they we will therefore say therefore negative uh um that one over two is between negative one and one thus the series converges and the sum to infinity exists okay you have first to um determine whether the sum to infinity exists or not then we can apply this formula sum to infinity equals to a 1 minus r and of course that is just uh, 1 over 2 1 minus 1 over 2 which equals to 1 okay so this is then the sum to infinity let us just recall the steps step one step one i found i wrote down what is my first term step two i then said what is my constant ratio Okay, step three, we then asked, asked that is my constant ratio between negative one and one. Okay, this, if it is between negative one and one means it converges. And if it converges, it means what? It means that the sum to infinity does what? It exists. Okay, so that is very important for you to do that. I hope that makes sense to you. Let us look at this one. All right let us look at this one i'm not gonna dwell too much on these questions uh so i'm just gonna look at this one again you are having this and they are saying calculate this if it exists look at what's at the top what's at the top guys sum to infinity that is infinity i get so it means that you're actually looking for what guys the sum to infinity mm -hmm. so now what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna just take this symbol which is in sigma notation i'll say infinity equals to n equals to 1 2 10 um 1 minus n and that is 2 10 1 minus n uh-huh and that is plus no 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 sorry 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 that's a mistake first value to be substituted is 1 and then followed by second value to be substituted is 2 okay second value to be substituted is 2 and uh the last value to be substituted is uh, is 3. And uh, we say dot, dot, dot. Okay? And then here you'll get 2. Here you'll get 0, 0,2. Here you'll get 0, 0,002. Okay? What is the value of our, our first value is 2. Can we try to find R? Okay? Uh, and we don't know what type of series is this. So we are going to have to do it twice so that we can be able to ascertain so we're going to say r r uh, equals to t2 over t1 and we are going to do the same and say r equals to t3 over t2 
and therefore if you notice um t2 is 0 comma 2 t1 is 2 uh 0 comma 0 0 2 is our t3 and then 0 comma 2 is of course uh, um and here it's 0 comma 2 sorry about that sorry about that making a lot of mistakes but i hope you are following me and so this is equals to 0 comma 1 and that is also equals to 0 comma 1 okay therefore we conclude therefore this is a geometric series okay and what we notice because of the infinity sign at the top because of the infinity sign at the top we say um it is uh, an infinite geometric series if we are being more accurate with the question now what we want to now ascertain is that does the sum to infinity exist and remember guys the sum to infinity exists only and only if the series converges so in order for us to know that it exists we first have to find out is our r between what between negative one and one what is the value of our r well that is the value of our r and it can be clearly seen it can be clearly seen that uh, our r is between negative one and one therefore thus the series converges and the sum to infinity exists okay so we can be able to calculate the sum to infinity which is a 1 minus r that is 2 1 minus 0 comma 1 which equals to 20 over 9 which is equals to 2 uh and we can just leave it here we can just leave it here we can just leave it there 